I'd be very curious to see the point where you moved to LA and you went from saying, okay, I've been kind of planting these seeds, doing some work for free, but then at some point you're like, I'm going to charge for this. I'm going to sell this for money. And I'd love for you to walk us on how were you able to make that kind of transition? Yeah. So I actually, when I first moved to LA, I worked at a talent agency for about a year. Okay. I mean, I was, it was a friend of a friend actually that referred me and I got lucky and, you know, it took me a couple months to find a full-time job once I moved to LA. But by the way, I was always told that like, you have to move to LA in order to get the job because you have to be available. Like someone's not going to hire you when you're in San Francisco. So at some point I did just make the move to like, to, to live here because I just didn't think I would ever be hired anyway. And I, now, now that I'm hiring people, I see how that makes sense. Like you can't tell someone like, oh, I'm going to move. Like no one knows if you're actually going to move in two weeks, you know, or like move when you get the job or whatever. But Anyway, I ended up getting a job after a couple months um, and working at a talent agency. And about a year later, like, I just decided that, like, I wanted to work with reality stars because that's what I was into. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's just like the shows that I watched, you know, and like I was always into social media and and this agency focused on more like commercials and just um with more celebrity status people and like I thought it was really cool but like I still wanted to work with the reality tv and they didn't want to go that route so I decided to go off on my own and I actually feel like this is where it sort of paid off to work for free because in addition to being able to quit and start my own business I was able to um, also work part time at the podcast network that I a year prior started volunteering for. Um, and I got hired through them for about like 15 hours a week. So it was kind of like this saving grace that like still I had a backup in addition to starting Little Red, which was great because I worked there for like, I want to say probably over a year, honestly, still like after I started Little Red. So yeah, I always think, and, and then not to mention, but like all my clients, which were like maybe 10 <laughs> people, were people that I worked for free for before and like offered to help them. And, and I were, was able to pitch them and um, do partnerships for them. So that was also really awesome. And I just feel like it always, it always pays off to offer to help people because I guess people don't do it anymore. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, you, you stand out a lot more when you do it. But I, I do think there's a kind of a a skill that, uh, in your case, you're able to kind of deploy from, you know, going out and helping people for free and then kind of approaching them and being like, oh, by the way, uh, I have a business that does this and I want you to be my client. And I'd be very curious to how you would approach, like, especially some of the first ones you talked to and said, hey, now I have an agency and I want you to be my client. Was there any resistance? Was there any fear about now you were going to go ask them for money? Uh, and then did that change your relationship with those individuals or brands? You know, it's so funny. So, Jason, just to give you like a little background of like, obviously, a bit more about how Little Red works is like, really, we're we're the ones that are bringing brand deals to our talent. And then we are working off commission. Right. So they technically don't have to pay me up front. And, and then like and like buy into my service as much. Right. And it's like paying me once I get a brand deal. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like a lot of the conversations at first, like, I mean, there, I love this story, but there was like one girl where like, I literally ran into her at a bar in Austin. I was like, oh my God, like, hi, I know you from Are You The One, like back in, you know, a couple years ago. I don't know if you ever watched that show. It was a great show. No, I'm anyway, sorry. But <laughs> did you watch any of these I do. well first I off i'm in bali so yeah i don't have access to american network television uh and no but guess what living in changu you kind of get to live it every day <laughs> but that's for those who know it's they know <laughs> um no but like i would like go to austin and then i just like kept in touch like i asked for a picture i think and then i was like oh i do partnerships like blah 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 like let's stay in touch and so then when I actually started my own company it's like I would reach out to people that I would meet because I think that they knew 
that I worked in partnerships. And also at that point, I was kind of thinking that I could bring them on to my current agency that I was working with. But then once I had those conversations that, you know, my team didn't want to go that reality route, then that's when I was like, okay, maybe I do this on my own, you know. But I think that that's like what's interesting is it's like people didn't have to like buy into my services. It's like I almost have to like prove to them like, oh, I can make you money. Mm. But like who's going to say no to a $5,000 social media post that I'm going to bring them? Yep. You know, like. Yeah. But I mean, I think that it goes back to it's like, you know, I also had to start all of these brand relationships from scratch as a new agency, you know, and like and create those relationships because at the end of the day those are the people that are paying us right Mm. are the brands Mm. thank you so much for listening to the selling with love podcast we have some previous episodes you can tune into right here and if you prefer the short form content where you get to the point in under 10 minutes we do have a ton of clips from our best episodes that are being shared on this channel as well so pick which one supports you the most and of course thank you for liking subscribing and of course selling with love